Breaking news. As predicted following Cody Rhodes beat Solo in a steel cage fight the bloodline, Roman Reigns returned to SmackDown. Was planning to deploy Jacob Batchu from Roman's sky above the building, but the heavens at top. Arrival stopped it after the initial. Tribal chief leveled his rivals alone. Siwa fled the cage, followed closely, but was encouraged back into the steel. Framework by Reigns, he followed. Close the door before anything else. Might occur between the two Siwa taken. From the cage, the tribe of probable Fatu. Done this to his enforcer for the following four motives. Four, it wasn't. From Solo, Siwa, a simple justification for the reason. Solo, Siwa withdrew. Jacob Fatu, distance from Roman Reigns is. Because alone didn't schedule Fatu to compete. Alone with Reigns, he feels intoxicated with power as the chief of the tribe does not allow anything transpires without his blessing. Bloodlines runs from the top down. Using Siwa as the final word on all matters Roman Reigns gave Fatu orders for. Enter the cage, and he listened because Solo Sokoa neglected to provide his enforcer with a sequence he drew him from the Three Fatu distracted by encounter three. Reigns long enough for the assault to. Fatu went inside the cage. Closed the door to get sufficient. Times for Tonga Loa and Tamatonga to. Regroup and blinded the head of the. Table but were still hammered following Solo. Drew the Simone werewolf out alone. Not minded giving up the WWE tag team. Champions. But perhaps. Giving his personal enforcer up a uh, protection would leave single exposed should. Two, he neglected the task at hand. Nobody wants Jacob, who shining in the enforcer background in the bloodline, isn't in Solo's best advantage. He was the founding gang's enforcer and fiercely loyal, operated according to Roman Reigns' guidelines and the lack of the latter Siwa overtook the gang and erected it with only star loyalty. For Jacob Fatu, it has been obvious. Unique within the group he belongs to. Difference maker, using an electric presence within the group, Solo must know this and has cautiously moved to restrain the popularity of the Samoan werewolf. Then, influence that would fit the explanation for designing him his Enforcer Fatu also constantly stands behind Solo in the ring and pre-taped bits. He wants not to follow her, eclipsing his one lone star power. Siwa wants to be the one removing. Roman Reigns carries some ego. Had to be the tribal head of the legacy Roman Reigns consistently sought. Both superstars and fans both to thank you him. It's a psychological needful. Approbation with the same megalomaniacal quality has been a constant among leaders across kings of history, queens, presidents, and emperors constantly want the credit for everything but none of the guilt alone. Observed the activities of Roman reigns as tribal chief, always expecting people recognize him. He also brought the group from the head of the table over from so he want to be the one bringing Roman out. Though alone, Jacob Fatu could most likely achieve it. Siwa wants his enforcer to not surpass him because he carried the salmon. Waswolf to WWEWWE anticipates a big confrontation between Roman Reigns and Jacob Fatu on SmackDown. On the WWE SmackDown this week about between Roman Reigns and Jacob Fatu was mocked the first tribal chief came back after Cody's successful defend of championship against Solo Siwa in steel cage game after the game. The bloodline ambushed the reigning, unquestionably, WWE champions events preceded. From the top of the mountains, Fatu could strike roadways. Steel caged, hit the ring, and grab the struggle towards the bloodline following, removing Tatonga alone. Tongaloa Reigns brought Fatu back into. The two superstars had a quick ring off. Star down before Sioa pulled the Simone. Werewolf outside of the ring stopping. 
another combat peek out the face-off between Roman Reigns and Jacob Fatu. Roman Reigns returned first at the SummerSlam Premium Live event when he helped streets during the bloodline. Policies line up for him. Seafarers many weeks later, the stable placed him momentarily through the announcer table, writing him off WWE programming once again on SmackDown the fight between Reigns. The bloodline came to finish with RHS returning the favor and assist the guy who he beat for the undisputable WWE championship since comeback to WWE the OTC hasn't entered an official competition bout, but that may alter should WWE chooses for Rhodes and Reigns to join up against the lineage in one of the most highly esteemed amazing events on WWE SmackDown alone. Siwa created a sudden, strong appearance, disturbing what was meant to be a high-stakes conflict between fans of Roman Reigns and Jacob Fatu. Expecting conflict, but none predicted the geological change brought upon by Solo's intervention as the saga of bloodlines moves. Next round, we consider the four reasons why Siwa may have missed this pivotal event in his family's constant conflict. One safeguarding Roman Reign from a possibly see the conflicts between Roman and Jacob Fatu. Months of boiling have gone under Reign's purview with Fatu developing as a serious hazard to the tribe chief's reign, while Roman has had several challenges, none of which were at personal, either as harmful as Fatu, member of the Unwai dynasty, carrying with them legacy of control on the autonomous circuit only solo Siowa, who has always stayed really close to his cousin. Roman could have wandered inside shield range facing a coup threatening to destroy his historic championship run for Solo. This wasn't just concerning loyalty. It was about maintaining the family's lineage as kept and maintained their might within their inner circle. Jacob Fatu has been an unstakable force. Outside WWE and his showing up on SmackDown, seen of as an invasion, a challenge not only to Roman, but to all the Bloodline had created the interruption for Solo. Might have been a deliberate action meant to maintain Roman's posture whole and to forward. Message to Jacob Fatu, the Bloodline, does not call for outsiders. They took care of their affairs inside. And Solo ensured of that by cutting off the conflict before to it might develop into a civil war too, putting Solo Sioa as the new examiner. In recent years alone, Siwa has developed from Roman Reigns' devoted soldier, turned become a force of his own using the USO's flaw in Roman's progressively the part erratic behavior Solo has been in, under focus, several of which have hypothesized if he may be a future contenders for Roman's throne, and his interrupting Jacob Fatu may have been a power gesture to establish his authority within the bloodline. Hierarchy, by intervening at the pivotal moment alone, is clearly indicating that he is the future, not just an enforcer. He didn't only guard Roman, he upset the very story that Jacob Fatu was attempting to create via means of craft.